Hello students, welcome back to our next session. Uh, due to some technical issue, we have to cancel our today's uh, live session. And uh, instead of that live session, we have to make the video for you. So uh, you can study very well at your home. So let us start with our next session. That we are going to the next topic, and that is the solution. In the previous uh, lecture, we have talked. Uh, we have already talked about the mixture and the type of the mixture. That is the homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture. Then after we have talking about the difference between the mixture and the com uh, compound that you have uh, already uh, learned very well. So let me recall your knowledge about the homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture. So we can say that the any kind of the mixture that is the either the solid, liquid, or the gas uh, which have the uniform composition and that is known as the homogeneous mixtures. While as the uh, let us talk about the heterogeneous mixture. So we can say that the uh, the mixture of the any component either that the solid, liquid, or the gas which have non-uniform composition and that is known as the heterogeneous mixture but as we know that homogeneous mixture cannot be separated by the any physical method we must have to use some chemical method and uh, uh, in other hand we can say that in the heterogeneous mixture uh, it can be separated by the any physical method so that is the biggest difference between the homogeneous mixture and the heterogeneous mixture so now uh, we have already learned this uh, that question so the how can we uh, separate the mixture of the salt and ion heating from the each other so we can say that the first there are two methods the first one that is the magnetization uh, that means uh, you have to take the magnet and the, that magnet you have to uh, take that magnet uh, near to that uh, particular mixture so what happened so that all the ion filling that is present in that mixture that attracted toward that magnet and uh, by this method you can separate out the, all the ion filling from the mixture of the salt and the ion filling so that is the uh, first method and the second method that is you must have to dissolve that mixture into the water and then after uh, you have to first uh, process that you have to follow that is the filtration so due to the process of the filtration you will get the, all the ion filling uh, in, the, uh, in the residues in, in above the fil filter paper uh, in the below the filter paper in the beaker that you will get the filtrate that is the solution of the water and the salt so what we have to do, we have to do the evaporation process and due to the evaporation process we have to boil that water and due to the evaporation water will be evaporated and you will get the pure salt. So that is all about the our last sessions. So in the next session we have to go with the what is the solution. So solution is what is the solution? So we can say that the solution is nothing but if the homogeneous mixture of two or the more than two substance or the component okay that mixture that is the homogeneous mixture and we cannot separate out by any physical method that is also known as the solution that have the uniform composition okay so we can say that the homogeneous mixture it is also known as the solution so the solution is nothing but the homogeneous mixture of the two or the more than two component that is the solution uh, and we can see that the solution it has the two kind, uh, kind of the component that the first one that is the solute and the other one that is the solvent so what is the solvent? So we can say that the solvent is the one kind of the component which has a tendency to dissolve that another component that is present in the solution or we can say that the solvent is the one kind of the component which have tendency to dissolve the solid particles. Okay, so that is known as the solvent and uh, the solvent is the, the amount we can say that the amount of solvent is larger in solution ok that means ki solution jo hai uske andar solvent ka jo amount rahega that is the larger and the second component that is the solute so we can say that solute what is the solvent so solute is a component that is going to be dissolved into the solvent Okay, that is going to be going to be dissolved in solvent. That is known as the solute. And we can say that the amount of solute is lesser or valueless in the solution ok 
so uh, for the any kind of solution we have two component require must require that is solvent and solute so we can say that that is solvent plus solute is equal to solution is it clear now suppose we have the solution of the salt okay that is the salt solution so in this salt solution we can say that the salt is dissolved in water so the salt uh, sorry salt that is the a solute while water that is a solvent okay so jo bhi cheez dissolve hoti hai usko hum kya kahenge solute aur jisme dissolve hoti hai that is the solvent okay beta confuse nahi hona hai ye topic jo aisa hai matlab ki बहुत से लोग बहुत से स्टूडेंट इन दी इवेंट ट्वेल्थ में भी वो बहुत से कंफ्यूज होते हैं पर्टिकुलर दिस टॉपिक में अगर आपको ऐसा लग रहा है इसमें क्या है तो इसमें बहुत कुछ है इसी वजह से वो लोग कंफ्यूज होते हैं लेकिन आपको अभी से क्लियर रखना है जो डिजोल्व होता है दैट इज सोल्यूट और जिसमें डिजोल्व होता है दैट इज सोल्वेंट क्लियर अगेन जो डिजोल्व होता है दैट इज सोल्यूट और जिसमें डिजोल्व होता है दैट इज सोल्वेंट अगर ये सोल्ट पानी में डिजोल्व हुआ है जैसे पानी that is water that is the solvent and salt that is the solute but agar hum solution ki baat kare matlab ki aisa keh sakte hain ki bhai salt plus water is we get the solution but of which solution water solution or salt water solution no we can say that this is the salt solution solution of the salt ओके बेटा मतलब कि जो भी सॉल्यूट रहेगा उसका सॉल्यूशन वो बोला जाएगा मेक इट क्लियर अगेन सपोज कि हमारा सॉल्यूट है शुगर एंड सॉल्वेंट है वाटर और ये दोनों कंबाइन होकर क्या बनाएंगे बेटा सॉल्यूशन बनाएंगे सो वी कैन से दैट द सॉल्यूट पार्टिकल जिसमें वो जो डिसॉल्व हो रहा है वो क्या है शुगर दैट इज गोइंग टू बी द डिसॉल्व बाय द वाटर that is going uh, uh, it has a tendency to dissolve that sugar into it to so, jo water hai that is this solvent and make it clear ki jab bhi koi bhi solution hota hai usme compulsory jo solvent rahega uska amount zyada hoga jiska amount zyada hai that is the solvent okay another way se agar aapko yaad karna hai to you can say that ki jiska amount zyada hai that is the solvent aur jiska amount kam hai that is the solute okay so this is the solution of the sugar plus water so this solution that is known as the solution of sugar okay agar aapko aisa likha jata hai solution of sugar usme component kon kon se hai solute kon hai aur solvent kon hai then we can say that the solution of the sugar that means sugar is going to be the dissolved into the water and hence sugar is the solute by the water that is the as solvent ओके सो क्या ये जो टॉपिक बेटा ये आपको बहुत अच्छे से समझ में आया होगा दैट टॉपिक दैट इज द मोस्ट इंपोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ दिस यूनिट फॉर योर नेक्स्ट लेवल ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड 11 स्टैंडर्ड 12 दैट इज द मोस्ट यूजफुल टॉपिक दैट इज द सॉल्यूट एंड द सॉल्वेंट वो वहां पर आपको बहुत कंफ्यूज करेगा इसलिए आपको यहां से उसके बारे में क्लियर होना होगा कि ये सॉल्वेंट किसे कहते हैं और सॉल्वेंट किसे कहते हैं नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द सम प्रॉपर्टी एंड सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन so let us discuss about the some property and the some examples of the solution now let us talk about the properties of the solution so we can say that the solution is in nothing but it is a homogeneous mixture as we talked about the uh, in the previous topic so the solution that is in nothing but it is a homogeneous mixture then the second uh, second characteristic or the property that is the particles size is smaller than 1 nanometer in diameter that means the 1 nanometer Is equal to ten to minus nine meter. Okay, brother, keep it in your mind. It can be asked for the uh, answers for the uh, blanks. Okay, so the one nanometer that is equal to ten to minus nine meter. That is particle size. That is particle size that is smaller than the one nanometer in the diameter. 
that means they have the size lesser than the terrace to minus 9 meter and they and that's why it cannot be, uh, it can't seen by the, even the electric microscope. We cannot even to see that uh, particles uh, with the help of the electron microscope. So that kind, uh, that kind of thing, the particles are smaller. Okay. So the next property that is, they cannot able to step scattered beam of light. What is the meaning of the scattering of the light? So suppose. Uh, that uh, that is the solution of the water and uh, the flow of the wind flow. Okay, so that is the solution of the flow. Uh, flow uh, that is the wind flow and the water. And uh, you are going to mix that very well. And then after you are going to pass out the laser light from that solution. So you cannot able to see that light uh, on the side of that beaker. Okay, that means that light cannot able to scatter. Uh, that sorry, that light. Is scattering into that beaker that cannot be passed from that solution. But if we are talking about the solution of the salt plus water, suppose this is the beaker and it is the solution of the salt and the water. Now, if you are going to pass out the light from this solution, so you will get the uh, light on that. On this wall, suppose this is the wall. Okay, so you can able to see that light on this wall. Okay, that means if the solution is kept in the light, that means here the light in a bit of the pass so that light can happen bar light will be there. That means if under under spray will be there, that that means scatter will be there. Here light will be there. Oh, that particle will be there. Bombard will be there. Or light will be there. That means the whole light here beaker se bar nahi kya pae. That is the meaning of the scattering. But solution mein ye cheez nahi ho rahi hai because they are not going to scatter. Scattering of the light jo hota hai, wo solution mein nahi hoga. And due to that is the reason the light of solution is passed karte ho, wo pura ka pura pass ho ke aapko dusri taraf dekhne ko milta hai. So that is the base characteristic of the solution. Then the next one that is the particles of the solute cannot be separated out by any physical method. Suppose like it is the filtration. Okay. Suppose you are going to filter out the solution of the salt and water. Can you able to get the uh, salt uh, on the filter paper? No, you cannot able to separate the salt by the process of the filtration. So we can say that the solution in the solution we cannot be or uh, we can able to separate out the solute particle by any physical method that is like the filtration. So that is the uh, fifth characteristic. Then the sixth that is the solute particles do not settle down when they are left undistributed. That means if you have made a solution, suppose one solution we have made that is the salt and the water. If you have made a solution of salt and water. वही बीकर को मैंने बहुत अच्छे से एक बार सॉल्यूशन बना लिया बाद में मैंने उसको एक घंटे के लिए दो घंटे के लिए तीन घंटे के लिए तो फिर एक हजार घंटे के लिए भी मैंने रख दिया लेकिन क्या सॉल्ट के पार्टिकल्स उसके बॉटम पे आके सेटल डाउन होंगे नहीं होंगे क्यों क्योंकि वो जो सॉल्ट के पार्टिकल्स है वो पूरी तरह से अंदर सॉल्यूशन में डिसॉल्व हो गए हैं मतलब कि दे कैन नॉट एबल टू सेटल डाउन ऑन द बॉटम ऑफ द बीकर and has we can say that the solid particle do not settle down on the bottom when they are uh, left undistributed is it clear then the last topic that is the solution is the stable and they cannot able to settle down on the bottom of the beaker and that's why we can say that the solution is the stable that means there is, there is no any deviation there is no any defect that we can able to observe in the solution so that's why we can say that the solution is the stable so that is all about the properties of the solution. So there are so many examples of the solution. So let us talk and discuss about the, some of the examples of the solution. So uh, here we are going to discuss about some of the examples of the solution. But before we have to, uh, uh, we are going on the example. We have to clear this board, and then after we are going with the example of the solution. Now we have to discuss about some of the examples of the solution. So we can say that there are three type of the solution. Suppose that the in the all the solvent is a liquid. Suppose that the solvent is a liquid. Then they have uh, there are the three types of the examples of the solution that is the solid in liquid solution, 
liquid in a liquid solution, gas in a liquid solution. Okay, so let us talk about the solid in the liquid solution. So, solid in the liquid solution, an example of the solid in the liquid solution, liquid in the solution, there is sugar plus water, salt plus water. Okay, there are so many examples that uh, you can able to write down in this portion. So, uh, let us talk about this solvent and solvent in this solution. So, what is this solvent? The water. Water, that, uh, that means H2O. Then as a tendency to dissolve the solid particle in it, so that is the solvent and that is the water and the solid particle that is the sugar and the salt. Sugar or salt, that means NaCl. That is sodium chloride. Okay. Now uh, another one that is the liquid in the liquid solution. So there are the example of the iodine plus alcohol. So this is the basic example of the iodine plus alcohol that is liquid in the liquid solution. Uh, you can see like the lemon in the water. That is the another example of the liquid in the liquid solution. Or you can say that uh, like uh, suppose capital में जब भी कोई गीज़ आता है तो like uh, और जूस बनाते हो आप दैट लाइक ओ रोआ जावर जो कुछ भी आप यूज करते हो दैट इज अ लिक्विड इन द फॉर्म एंड यू आर गोइंग टू ऐड दैट अ लिक्विड इनटू वन ऑफ द वाटर सो दैट इज अ अदर एग्जांपल ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द लिक्विड सॉल्यूशन सो आयोडीन प्लस अल्कोहल सो दैट इज द एग्जांपल ऑफ द लिक्विड इन द लिक्विड सॉल्यूशन बट इफ द आयोडीन इज डिसॉल्व इन द अल्कोहल दैट इज नोन एज द टिंक्चर ऑफ आयोडीन सो इट मे बी एज फॉर द वन मार्क्स सो व्हाट इज द टिंक्चर ऑफ द आयोडीन सो व्हेन द आयोडीन दैट इज uh act as a solvent particle and it is going to be dissolved into the alcohol the alcohol that is the solvent particle so that kind of the solution that is uh, mixed, uh made up by the iodine and the alcohol and that is known as the tincture of the iodine so in this uh what is the solute that is the R iodine that is the least in amount while as the alcohol that is the solvent and which is high in amount So that is it about the liquid in the liquid solution. Next, then we are going to talking about the gas in the liquid solution. So there are so many aerated drinks that uh, we have used in our routine life. That is the soda water, the Pepsi, Coca Cola, Sprite, whatever that we are using in our daily life as a soda. That all are the example of the gas into the liquid solution. So uh, in this liquid, that is the water that act as the uh, uh, sorry, that is the solvent. Solvent is our alcohol. And here iodine, iodine indicated as the I. Okay. Now gas in the liquid solution. So, मतलब कि जो कुछ भी aerated drinks जो हम लेते हैं, that all are the gas in the liquid solution. As a solvent in this solution, that the water is the solvent. Okay. While the uh, as gas in this all the drinks, there is the present of the carbon dioxide as a gas in all this. Drinks that is a either we are talking about the soda water, Coca Cola, Pepsi, Sprite, uh, Mountain Dew, whatever uh, you are talking about, that all the gas in the liquid solution, the content of water is the solvent, while the carbon dioxide are the solid particles. Then next we are going to be talking about the uh, gas in a gas solution. Suppose air, air is the mixture of the gas in a gas. In this air, there are so many gases that is present in each other. There is a mixture of the gas in uh, another gas. So you can say that the air is the mixture of the gas in the gas. But this mixture is a homogeneous mixture that we cannot put separate out by any physical method. Suppose I am going to take some of the oxygen and some of the nitrogen. Is it possible? No. So we cannot be able to separate out the gas into the gas the mixture by any physical method. So there is uh, one kind of the solution that it is known as the mixture, and that is the homogeneous mixture of the gases. Mainly in this mixture, there is the presence of the oxygen that is the twenty-one percent, while the nitrogen that is the seventy-eight percent, and the remaining part of the other other gases that is present in the very small quantity. So that is all about the uh, portion that is our topic number six, and that is the what is the solution. So solution क्या होता है? उसके कौन-कौन से component होते हैं? उसके type कैसे होते हैं? फिर उसके properties क्या होते हैं? उसके examples क्या होते हैं? I think now you are clear about the word solution. सो so, होप uh, कि आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन नहीं होगा इस टॉपिक के रिगार्डिंग अगर आपको कोई भी क्वेश्चन आता है सो यू कैन डायरेक्टली कांटेक्ट विद मी सो विल क्लियर द टॉप योर डाउट्स सो नेक्स्ट लेट अस मूव टू अहेड विद आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड दैट इज द टॉपिक नंबर 7 द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सो द वर्ड कंसंट्रेशन व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ द कंसंट्रेशन सपोज कि आपके घर में आपकी मम्मी ने सुबह सुबह में बहुत ही बढ़िया चाय बनाई है आप चाय पीने को जाते हो और आपको फील होता है कि इसके अंदर सुगर ज्यादा है तो आप क्या कहोगे मत 
मतलब कि आप मम्मी को चिल्लाओगे कि मतलब कि यहाँ पर आपने पूरा का पूरा शुगर का डिब्बा खाली कर दिया है मतलब कि पूरा का पूरा शुगर ज्यादा है इफ यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस सम फूड दैट योर मदर इज मेड अप फॉर यू एंड दैट इज दिस सम अमाउंट ऑफ द सॉल्ट दैट इज द हायर देन यू आर गोइंग टू बी साउटेड अगेन टू योर मॉम दैट इज द प्रेजेंट ऑफ द सॉल्ट इज मच हायर हैव यू हैव एनी योर माइंड दैट ऑल दैट ऑल दैट यू आर गोइंग टू साउटेड ऑन द पर्टिकुलर दैट थिंग दैट द सॉल्ट एंड द शुगर दैट इज हायर इन द अमाउंट so the higher in the amount that is known as the word that is the concentration so instead of the uh, you can say like the मतलब क्या आप ऐसा बोल कहते होगे कि भाई इसमें सॉल्ट ज्यादा है या फिर इसमें शुगर ज्यादा है सो इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस ऑल यू कैन से दैट द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द सॉल्ट इज द हायर इन द टी ओके और यू कैन से दैट द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द सॉल्ट व्हिच इज हायर इन द फूड सो this word that you are going to uh, routine in routine your life in your routine life you are using that the amount of the salt is higher amount of the sugar is higher amount of the uh, chili is higher amount of the whatever that higher that higher that means concentration the amount amount word that is the uh, representing concentration either the higher either the lower okay now suppose the uh, we are going to make some lemon juice and uh, in that juice there is the amount of the lemon is much higher so we can say that the concentration of the lemon is higher in that solution so that solution that is the concentrated solution concentrated solution okay now what we have to do to overcome that uh, uh, amount of the lemon that is the going to be the higher in that solution we are going to add some water in that solution so amount of the lemon is going to be decrease is it amount of the uh, lemon is going to be decrease or the effect of the lemon is going to be decrease so we can say that the effect of the lemon is going to be the lemon that is going to be the decrease because of we are going to add some water in it so when what the uh, effect of the lemon or we can say that the concentrated solution in which the amount of the lemon is higher and whenever we are going to add some water the effect of that solution of uh, that lemon that is going to be the decrease and that is known as the dilute solution okay matlab ki jab uska concentration uska amount jyada tha tab us solution ko humne kaisa solution kaha tha that is concentrated solution but jab humne uske andar pani ko add karte gaye karte gaye karte gaye karte gaye aur uska jo effect tha jo uska salt taste tha wo kam hua tab humne usko bola ki ye jo solution ho gaya that is the diluted solution so ye jo process hai jab aapka concentrated solution hai usme aap pani ko add karte ho aur uska concentration ko lower karte ho that means you are going to make some solution that is dilute solution and that process that is known as the dilution ये जो प्रोसेस है उसको हम क्या कहेंगे डाइल्यूशन कि कंसंट्रेटेड सॉल्यूशन का कंसंट्रेशन कम करके उसका जो इफेक्ट है उसको ओवरकम करते हैं बाय एडिंग सम वाटर और व्हाट एवर दैट सॉल्वेंट जो भी सॉल्वेंट होगा उसको हमको ऐड करना है नहीं कि वाटर सिर्फ वाटर नहीं जो भी सॉल्वेंट यहां पर सपोज कि शुगर प्लस वाटर का सॉल्यूशन है तो उसमें सॉल्वेंट है वाटर सपोज कि शुगर का कंसंट्रेशन ज्यादा है तो हम क्या करेंगे थोड़ा और वाटर ऐड करते जाएंगे थोड़ा और वाटर ऐड करेंगे उसका जो इफेक्ट है मतलब कि वो बहुत स्वी हो गया है वो थोड़ा सा लेवल जा जाएगा सो दैट मींस यू आर गोइंग टू डाइल्यूट दैट सॉल्यूशन एंड दैट प्रोसेस दैट यू आर गोइंग टू ऐड सम वाटर ऐड सम वाटर ऐड सम वाटर फॉर अ ओवरकम द इफेक्ट ऑफ द शुगर दैट प्रोसेस दैट इज एज अ डाइल्यूशन ओके इन दिस देयर इज द सपोज कि दिस इज द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ द आयोडीन एंड अल्कोहल दैट इज द टिंक्चर सॉल्यूशन टिंक्चर ऑफ द आयोडीन in which the concentration of water amount of the iron is much higher so what you have to do you must have to add some alcohol again you are going to add some alcohol again you are going to add some alcohol again you are going to add some alcohol till the effect of the iron is going to be the decrease so that is the process that is known as the dilution but in this portion you are going to add alcohol that means that is the solvent so in the any dilution process you must have to add the solvent for making that solution dilute so hope you are now very well familiar with the both the term that is the concentration and dilution concentration that means the amount of this solute particle is much higher diluted solution that means 
the amount of the solvent particle is much higher than the solute particle now is it clear so what is the concentration solution and what is the dilutive solution so hope you will get clear about the both the word the concentration and dilution now ki sugar agar zyada hai सपोज हमने चाय बनाई चाय में शुगर ज्यादा है सपोज हमने लेमन जूस बनाया उसमें नमक ज्यादा है सपोज हमने खाना बनाया उसमें मिर्ची ज्यादा है सपोज हमने जो कुछ भी बनाया उसमें कुछ ना कुछ सॉल्यूट पार्टिकल्स ज्यादा है तो ये जो ज्यादा होता है उसको हम कैलकुलेट कैसे करेंगे कि हमको पता कैसे चलेगा कि अगर ये कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड है तो है नो डाउट भाई अब ये अमाउंट उसका ज्यादा है दैट मीन्स वो सोल्यूशन कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड है बट उसका कॉन्सेंट्रेशन कितना है कितना ज्यादा वो कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड है वो हमको जानना है तो उसको हम कहेंगे कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ सॉल्यूशन इन सम डिजीज सो लेट अस फाइंड आउट दिस कॉन्सेंट्रेशन सो लेट अस मूव फॉर द विद आवर नेक्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ दिस सॉल्यूशन सो हाउ कैन वी मेजर और हाउ कैन वी डिटरमाइन द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन सो देयर आर टू वे on three way we can say by you uh, are by using that uh, equations we can find out the concentration of that particular solution so that is the first mass by mass percentage of w by w that means weight by weight or you can say that m by m that means mass by mass concentration of uh, percentage okay so that means that is equal to uh, amount of solute divided by uh, amount of amount of solution ओके okay? कि जब भी आपका जितना भी अमाउंट सॉल्यूट रहेगा उसको आप टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ सॉल्यूशन से डिवाइड करेंगे और आपका जो भी आंसर आएगा दैट इज योर परसेंटेज डब्ल्यू बाई डब्ल्यू हा उसको आपको परसेंटेज इसलिए मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड सो आपका जो भी आंसर आएगा दैट इज योर परसेंटेज डब्ल्यू बाई डब्ल्यू परसेंटेज एम बाई एम बाई बाई स्टेट ओके दैट मीन्स कि आपका जो भी सोल्यूशन अगर हम वर्ड यूज कर रहे हैं एम बाई एम दैट मीन्स If both the solute and solvent that is in the gram weight है इसीलिए mass है इसीलिए हमको वो जो दोनों भी है हमारा solute and solution दोनों हमको कैसे लेने हैं in the grams okay then the next that is the percentage B by B that means the percentage volume by volume the volume of the solute divided by volume of the solution so we can say that the volume Or here we can say that the mass of solute divided by total mass of solution. Is it clear? Now the percentage V by V that means volume of solute divided by total volume of solution multiplied by hundred. Here it can be given in the ml or by um, liter. Okay, so that is the percentage V by V. So by this means, uh, by the way, we can calculate or find out the uh, percentage weight by weight or percentage W by W. Okay, then after we can find out the another terms that is the percentage mass by volume. That means, the third topic is our percentage M by V. So we can say that. ऊपर क्या किया है हमें मास को लेना है और नीचे को क्या लेना है वॉल्यूम को लेना है दैट मीन्स परसेंटेज मास बाय वॉल्यूम दैट मीन्स मास ऑफ सॉल्यूट इन ग्राम मास है इसलिए ग्राम में लेना है या तो फिर किलोग्राम्स में डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल 
वॉल्यूम ऑफ सॉल्यूशन सॉल्यूशन का वॉल्यूम है तो वो हमको लेना है एम एल में या तो क्रिएटर में और उसको हम मल्टीप्लाई कर देंगे हंड्रेड से सो विल गेट आर आंसर इन दी परसेंटेज कि मतलब कि इतना परसेंट सॉल्यूट उसमें है या तो फिर इतना परसेंट उसका कॉन्सेंट्रेशन है या तो फिर वॉट एवर दर्म इतना परसेंट अमाउंट उसका ज्यादा है वट दर्म्स वट एवर यूज बट दैट इज नोन एज दी कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ओके सो नाउ गो यू क्लियर ऑल अबाउट द टर्म कंसंट्रेशन सो व्हाट इज द कंसंट्रेशन और हाउ कैन वी फाइंड आउट द कंसंट्रेशन इन द डिजिट्स सो बाय दिस थ्री वे यू कैन फाइंड आउट द एनी काइंड ऑफ द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ द एनी सॉल्यूशन जस्ट यू हैव टू राइट आउट द फिगर दैट इज द सॉल्यूट का यू वांट टू फाइंड आउट द परसेंटेज ऑफ द वेरिएबल परसेंटेज एम बाय एम यू मस्ट हैव टू हैव द वेट ऑफ द सॉल्यूट एंड द वेट ऑफ द सॉल्यूशन जस्ट Go and divide and multiply by hundred. You will get your answer. If you want to find out the V by V, that is volume by volume, then you must have to the volume of the solution and the solution then multiply or divide each other by uh, solution by solution and then multiply by hundred. You will get your answer. If you want to find out the concentration M by V, that is mass by volume, that means that you have hundred ml water in your hand. Suppose hundred ml water in your hand. In that, you have suppose that I have twenty five grams of सॉल्ट को डिसॉल्व किया है ठीक है तो हमारा मतलब कि जो कुछ भी है हमारा क्या होगा मतलब कि उसका कंसंट्रेशन कितना होगा तो 25 डिवाइडेड बाय 100 कर दो आपको यहां पे मिल जाएगा 4 मिल जाएगा दैट इज 0.25 आंसर ठीक है ओके मल्टीप्लाई बाय इसको 100 कर दो हैं तो क्या होगा 25 इन टू 100 इन टू 25 इन टू 100 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 So let's uh, go ahead with uh, one example, and then after we are going to complete our today's video and today's lecture. So let us talk about the example that is given in your book. So here your example that is given in your book that is example number two point one. So the solute is containing the forty grams of the common salt in three twenty gram of the water. Okay, forty gram of the common salt. so common salt that is equal to 40 g the amount of the water that is equal to 320 g okay now this common salt is dissolving this water that means the salt is the solute while the water that is the solvent Okay. Now, what we have to find out to calculate the concentration in the terms of mass by mass of the solution. So the percentage of mass by mass that is equal to what? That is equal to uh, mass of solvent. Sorry, solute divided by mass of solution. Multiply by hundred. Okay. Now, what is the mass of solute? The mass of this solute that is the forty gram. Okay. Divided by mass of solution. What is the mass of solution? Here we don't have the mass of the solution. So what we have to do? We just have to add solute into the solvent that will get the solution. Okay. So solution is equal to solute plus solvent. So the forty plus three twenty will get the three sixty. So the 360 that is the mass of the solution. So we just have to divide it for uh, divide it this 40 divided by 360 that is the mass of the solution and multiply by the hundred. So uh, you will get your answer that is 11 point 11 percent. That is the concentration of this solution. That is the concentration of this salt solution. So that is all about our today's session. So if you have any doubt, you can contact me. So that's it about our today's session. So thank you so much.